up. Later Hardigal focuses on the drops of blood on snow and there falls into an ecstatic state, ecstatic orgasm, which is memory awakening in his own hyperborean blood. And Fortis had acted against the purity of this amor. And all of them had mixed, one way or another, the divine blood of hyperborean divias and siddhas. Come from the heights, through a stellar combat against the powers of the Lord of Darkness, they entered, or fell, from another universe completely opposite, different, by strategic error, by chance destiny, or simply by fulfilling a mission, as bearers of the Graal. Emerald Stone, the road of this yoga, union, union, is the order of the shield, of King Arthur and Vibrations began in the feet in my experience, because within the maternal vagina the act of birth begins with powerful vibrations and the feet even unborn are what is closest to the uterus where these vibrations are produced as contractions. Now as well, I come to remember that being very small, my father, I believe he was my father, showed me a large crystal pitcher and told me, you were born suffocating, you could not breathe and that pitcher saved you. The pitcher was full of cold water and we poured it over you. That's how you began to breathe and were able to live. The Graal is also a pitcher, a cup of life, as well as a lapsit axillus and philosopher's stone. 396. This is the synchronistic way of solidarity with the mystic fatherland, required by the Chilean warrior initiate, or in Chile, of esoteric Hitlerism, the warrior order of the Fura and Wotan corresponds with the symbolic polar physiology, described in this book, in NOS, Book of Resurrection, and in, The Golden Band, Esoteric Hitlerism. 397. Perhaps I have loved my father so much because he saved me, gave me life. Then my father died when I was very young. And so the phoenix bird is born. But I carried his dead body with me to one day lay it down and let it be reborn next to the statue of Amon Ra. My mother also died, and I grew up like a pure madman in the forests of the South Pole. My history is thus that of Partival, as will be those of all pilgrims of the dawn, knights errant of great longing, warriors of Wotan and the Order of the Shield, the esoteric SS. I have always understood the initiation would consist in its first tests, or stages, <coughs> in a reliving of birth, being thus able to be born again. Reactivating by it the consciousness a memory of Swadistana. Whoever has read NOS will remember the initiation of the Manutara and dreams of water. The initiation is given in a cave called Hakongo Manu, Kira of the Bird. There was the cave of the god Make Make and, in other times, the newborn were brought there so that, in the dim light the skin would turn whiter. To recover the ionism of the polar race. Everything repeats itself in the cave. The neophyte is swallowed by a mother whale and must fight against impotence and the desire to remain safe they are protected. Fight and manage to escape. Birth is death. Screams, cries. Then the dreams of water come, of placenta and vagina, and inundation signifying for the newborn that pitcher entirely poured out over his body, like the wave of an immense overflowing sea, like the great wave of an intrauterine liquid submerging Atlantis, the hyperborea of the golden age, forever. Now the reborn comes out of the cave of initiation, from the repetition of birth and he is born for a second time, an Aryan. There he meets a moonstone, the Vril, Ajna chakra between the eyes, he dives into the sea and swims to the island of Harpu Manu, meaning, the cry of the bird. And he waits there until the Manu Tara bird brings his egg and puts it in his hand. He has recovered the primordial egg, the unity of himself, he she. He is the absolute man, the Manu Tara. The Manu with his Tara. Wow. He is round like an egg and like a star. So many mysteries the right there. He is born for the third time on an island surrounded by fire, where the Valkyrie Brunhild lies. Ixolda. Parzival must also abandon the mother to be reborn. His preparation is given to him by Trevrisant in a cave, Yoni. But this is only a maternal. 398. Preparation and he must also reach the Graal Castle, Munsalbrich, Wilsburg. The Viral Tower of the Castle, Linger. Solar initiation, superation of the maternal, of the first birth of this earth, of the fall. 
Almost all the great mysteries of antiquity repeated this basic event of the first birth and were given in crypts, bases of pyramids, arcades. The trauma of birth can produce phenomena as strange and disturbing as mine. If I had stayed with a mere psychological or psychoanalytic interpretation, such as the science of the enemy gives us today, I would have been lost for the great battle of true synchronistic transmutation and solidarity of soul and landscape, of without and within, of above and below. Because I would have come to believe everything was nothing more than the trauma and its fetal memory, a postnatal state realizing itself subconsciously in the practices of initiation, in the mysteries and so-called phenomena of astral doubling. But for an initiate of my order, of esoteric Hitlerism and a follower of Wotan Lucifer things are illumined by another light. The light of the sun of the Aryans, the black sun of polar midnight. And here there is no confusion. Because if it is certain my phenomena were repetitions in the blood memory of the first birth, it is also certain this same birth is no more than the repetition of another previous birth, completed in the Muladhara chakra. As that was of another and yet another births that are deaths and vice versa. Birth in the Muladhara chakra will be the partition of the ovum of the earthly mother, and that event is the mere repetition of the partition of the Orphic egg of Hishi and Shihi, of Erika Peos, the extracosmological Eros. Image reproduced in a game of infinite mirrors, in the plagiarism of the Demiurge, downwards and upwards. For the Aryan, the Vira, death is rebirth to a new life, with the body of a mortal Vajra. It is to move beyond the archetype to escape through the gate of Venus from the clutches of the Demiurge, who has imprisoned the Aryan warriors, the exiles, within the eternal return of the same, within the nightmare of his mire illusion. To do this only the sword called blood memory remains to us with which we must strike no more than twice, careful that it never fall apart. Family House 399 Archetypal repetition, possession by myth, synchronistic phenomena in our lives, the fact Parzival can come to be we ourselves, obliges us to fight within a symbol to achieve transmutation. When we exert ourselves to remember, claiming to enter the memory of the blood, we can go much further along the retrograde path of the leftward swastika, even further back than earthly birth, to the Muladhara chakra. Parzival teaches us there is an entire family of the Graal, a family house of the exiles, the rebel angels, royal angels, who are the family left with the guardianship of the Graal, next to the great chief. They are all kinfolk. Perhaps when all is said they are no more than only one who had been divided, split apart, on entering from another universe by an analogous door. In any case, he is our great ancestor and a being of light, from another light, another sun, who has nothing to do with the Demiurge Jehovah, the Lord of Darkness. As Aryans have nothing to do with the psychic unfolding of Jehovah that are the Jews. But our great ancestor has with him a great ancestress. Because Lucifer has his Lilith, Wotan has Frigg, Shiva has Parvati and he she has Shihi. In the struggle which is our advance through the way of erring, that of the blood memory, we must resist the astute artful attacks of the enemy which sometimes seem synchronic. For example, while I have written this book one have had to undergo tests offered to me as help, such that synchronism must turn into bribes of solidarity. Because of this I discover that what does not kill me makes me stronger, as Nietzsche would say. Or rather, help will truly come only when we are able to integrate it into this blood memory which comes from the wayfaring warriors of our own family house, the family of the Graal, esoteric Hitlerism. For the voice of the blood will never be mistaken here. In Eolla, Book of Magic Love, I took up the theme of the family house and the great ancestor. When I began practicing the sign of remembrance in my order, I went back beyond my own birth, attempting to contact a distant great-great-grandfather. And this caused a mysterious phenomena, a synchronistic solidarity. Because that ancestor, from the late 18th century, was named Parama, with the same word we use in the order to contact the moons of Jupiter. Don Jose Parama was a native of Salamanca, in whose university it is claimed he taught the devil, which should be read, with greater propriety, Lucifer, and came to Valparaiso <coughs> in that century, to marry Elena V. I. N. Tilda Aes Cortes, but then immediately again departed on his sailing ship, never to return. He left his wife much gold and a great roll of 400. Parchment. Like Herzeloid, Elena was a widow soon to give birth to a daughter. 
What became of Parama? Where did he go? Did he return back to Jupiter? Is he in the city of the Caesars and white gods? Did the sea swallow him up like Pedro Sarmiento de Gamboa? Or was he by chance, a Templii, a lord of the Graal, who only went to distant lands to deposit his seed from other worlds? His Graal seed, because those rolls of parchment said he was lord of an order of the black, white and red cakes. All the alchemical process of a royal art of transmutation is thus summarized. The cape is the mantle of Weepans the Skoy, the tarn cap of Siegfried and the tunic of Nezo. It is the astral body, the immortalization and materialization of the astral body. The daughter of Jose Parama and Elena Vin Tilda Aes Cortes was named Josefa Parama in memory of her disappeared father, thus showing in this way how much he was loved and adored by his wife. And this daughter, one day, perhaps one afternoon, in the distant port of Valparaiso, more than 100 years ago, embroidered a swaddling band with the umbilical cord Manipura Chakra, for her great-great-grandson. She did not make it for her son, nor for her grandson a great-grandson, my father, but for me, her great-great-grandson. I have told this tender and inspiring story in, neither by land nor by sea. When my first son was born, my paternal grandmother sent me this garment, found by chance at the bottom of an old trunk, perfumed with apples. It was wrapped in silk paper many years ago, on which the following legend was written in the hand of a great aunt, this venerable garment was embroidered by our paternal grandmother and is for the little great-grandson descended from this umbilical cord. I keep it still in its original packaging as something sacred, like a message and sign of the family of the Graal. If this knitted swaddling band had been found when I was born, it certainly would have been used, then worn out and lost. Just as I was given over, at the height of the world war, to reach the consciousness, and even further, in the blood memory, my blood, the family of the Graal. Because it is possible Parama initiated into that alchemist order, knew about it in Salamanca, in Huatramanaland, land of the white gods, where the Graal is now kept. He decided to leave his seed here so the note would keep resonating through his daughter, because it is the women, the priestesses of the Graal, who keep and relay the great secret when everyone else has succumbed and the earth has been laid gassed, and the message and appointment were passed on to me. The note continues vibrating, letting me hear the melody of Amor. Because all the power unfolded through centuries has come to bear its fruit in me. 401 patiently sent through chromosomes, seemingly lost for ages and now recovered. What a responsibility. What a hard combat. To resurrect all the dead who have not died, to reach the end of the great work, to vindicate Lucifer, to give birth and light to the son of man, the son of death. If only the blood memory were with us from the beginning, if only the work of transmutation were not so arduous. But such is destiny, woven by the norms. Combat with the double. The same hermit Trevrizant expresses the difference between the Wilton showing of the Cathars and the warrior order of the Graal when he says goodbye to his nephew Parzival. He tells him, the great miracle never happened until you, Parzival, with your enthusiasm and furor, won the gift of God, obliging him and the all-powerful trinity to concede your desire, bowing to your will, I myself was an obstacle distracting you from the struggle for the Graal. When I spoke to you about humility and repentance, now I bow to you and obey, my nephew and lord. And he continues. Our divinity has never stopped fighting against the enemy. Parzival can now leave to meet with the familiar stranger. He meets him in a clearing between two great trees, ready to begin the combat. The other is almost a giant of two colors, black on one side and white on the other. His uncovered face looks like parchment written in strange lettering. His armor defies every possible description, made from precious gems never seen in this part of the world. His beloved Queen Secundil the Thabronet made it for him. At the top of his helmet is embedded a stone known in the east as Anthrax, known in the west as a carbuncle. His shield was made of asbestos, a material that resists fire. And emeralds and rubies were worked in all through it. Queen Secundil had given him as emblem, something